Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be answering a question about having uh, when your surface modeling and the rail will say they don't connect to the sketch that you're using here. So let's go ahead and do a quick um, example of this. So we want to put um, some um, rails on this so we can control this a little more. So we come up here to fit point supply. And let's go ahead and um, Make sure everything is good to go here. Okay, go ahead and finish sketch. So we look at this. Take a look at this again here at a sketch. Okay. Then create loft. And loft between these here. Then I want to add rails. So I click the plus down here. And I can add rails just like that. Now, let's go ahead, delete these. Okay, we have our sketch up here again. Now, let's say, quick sketch again, this plane here, and let's say that um, sketch does not touch it. Let's go ahead and do that, for example. So I'll just put one here and it snaps on here. Now remember when it snaps onto here, it projects the line as well too. And then I'm going to miss the rail here altogether. Okay. Go ahead and straighten this line up a little. Now, as you can see, this is not touching. Now we come down here, finish sketch. Then create, I'm going to loft. Zero this out first. Loft those, and then if I want to add rails, click plus, and I can probably add that one there, which is fine. I want to add this one. As you can see, it says it's not touching up here. Rail misses the profile. Go and cancel this. A couple of ways to solve this real quick. You can come down here and go back to edit sketch. So the sketch that you just last did, right click on it, edit. Now, if you turn this slightly a little bit, now you can move this. You can see it won't snap onto there. So what you can do is come up here, coincident, and snap that um, on just like that. Click OK. Now you can move these around. You can move it where you want it um, to be located. And go ahead and finish sketch. Loft. Zero this out. Then add the rail. And as you can see now, it just adds it. But I find the best way of um, doing this where you won't have any um, problems is you use the coincident right in the beginning when you um, sketch this or try to snap it onto here. Just use that um, constraint in the beginning. So yeah, use your constraints in the beginning and you shouldn't have any problems um, with it. So yeah. But I did a video of this, on this um, earlier, a little longer, but this is a little shorter one. And um, directly getting to the point, just use the constraints and just go back, edit, 
your sketch and use that coincidence. So we'll go back to edit, then select your point, then use this coincident. And if you um, look up coincident constraints, the position, uh, position of two points or a point and a line or a curve together could be a point constrained along a line, two points constrained to each other, or a point constrained along a curve. And that's all it is. So use that and you should be okay. Anyway, that's going to do it for this short little video on um, um, fixing little rail problems like that. But yeah. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like button as well. I also invite you to join my Facebook group and my Patreon site, both are called Cadwell Fly RC. And if you can, become a paid member on my Patreon site, only $5 a month. And you have access to all my files that I show you guys how to model on my YouTube channel. So yeah. Again, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you in the next video. Subscribe for more.